Hey guys, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. My name is Murli and uh, let's talk about uh, AWS Amplify. This time we will build a full stack web application using React.js. We will use AWS Amplify. Um, we will talk about set of tools and services that um, uh, we use to deploy our application. Uh, so initialize a local app using a CLI and we will add authentication. We will add GraphQL app sync API. We will use database and we will also update um, uh, our app using uh, S3 bucket. So we, we, where we can store the uh, images. Okay. So what we will accomplish in this demo is that uh, we will walk through some of the steps to create a simple web application. Um, like we have discussed, like we will be hosting, uh, building and hosting a React application on the AWS Global Content Delivery Network CDN. We will also add authentication to our app using uh, AWS um, services and also we will add AWS, uh, we will also include database and storage like GraphQL API and storage solution to our demo. Okay, so uh, we will uh, walk through the demo. So before we walk through the demo, please don't forget to follow me on LinkedIn and GitHub and please hit that like button, please hit the share button and please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon and let's go to the demo. So we will discuss about um, AWS Amplify a bit. So what is AWS Amplify? AWS Amplify is a comprehensive solution provided by the uh, AWS that enables the front-end uh, web mobile developers to build, ship, and host web full stack applications. Okay, we will see how we're gonna do it. Um, basically, we will be using a React.js application in this demo. Okay, so with AWS Amplify, developers can create a backend for their iOS, Android, Flutter, React Native apps uh, with a real-time and offline functionality within a, with just a few clicks. Okay, so it allows them to easily build a pixel perfect front end user interface, UI, and connect to the cloud uh, backend using a virtual interface. Okay, um, so in this demo, we will solely focus on how we build the app and how we deploy it and how we add services from uh, the AWS like authentication, database, uh, storage solutions, and and uh, features like that okay um, so make sure you log into your uh, AWS console and um, we're going to create a new react application uh, in our local and then uh, we will start how uh, we're going to do it okay so let me go to the terminal here all right um, let me just come out of my previous directory um, so let's do npx create react app i hope amplify full stack app okay it's it's now creating the amplify full stack application and what we're going to do is we will simply cd into that app and do the npm start to start in a local application all right, just wait for this to finish. Awesome, now that it is created uh, our app React application, now CD into Amplify full stack. And let's see what are the file contents here. So we have package.json file and uh, let's see what we have in package.json. Okay, so we have a script called start. So I'm just gonna simply start um, the application, npm start. So we will first locally run this application and see how this React application works locally. And then we will uh, start uh, creating our uh, GitHub instance, all right? Um, so let's wait for a second. So I think it is started. Copy the URL um, or maybe open your Win Firefox, HTTP, localhost. 2000. So there you go. So now my local application is working, which is fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize the GitHub repository. Um, and then we will push the contents into this. Okay. Now, let me go to my repositories and I'm going to create a new repository, which is AWS. So let's put the directory name that we have created amplify full stack build full stack application using react okay uh, it's a public repository and then let's go ahead and create a repository all right so what we will do now let's add this remote all right go to your terminal just cancel this out clear do just ls 
and this is where you're going to add the remote repository okay so now that I have added remote repository now just do grid git branch minus M let's create a branch git push minus u origin main I'm just going to push that or maybe I have some permission issues so what I'm going to do I'm opening a new um, source tree and I'm going to clone from the URL or maybe I'm going to add a new repository from here add existing local repository and then I'm going to go to AWS and amplify full stack open up and open up the window so there you go now that you have it refresh the directory do I have anything yeah there you go it looks like it, it has pushed everything but uh, for some reason I was um, not showing this modified files okay so I've already pushed my files which is fine uh, I can see all the code is here um, and um, I have my package.json file here it looks like we have already pushed it so if you face some trouble I suggest please check um, your first you know to check your git config you check your user credentials that you're using make sure you push all your code and f in my case it there was a bit of trouble but anyway I was successful in uh, uh, pushing everything but although it is showing some error that's totally fine that's to that's okay okay so once you have all your files ready so what we're gonna do is we will simply do um, something like we're gonna log in to our management console which in my case I've already logged in okay and we will go to AWS Amplify here AWS Amplify okay and then let's go ahead scroll down a bit scroll down a bit um, you can now go ahead and use the Amplify hosting uh, here so just simply this is used to host your connect your git repository to continue continuously deploy your front end and back end application so the repository that we have just created we're going to connect it to the AWS Amplify so whenever we have a new code pushed into the github repository and Amplify starts hosting your app immediately as soon as you pushed okay so now go ahead and click on get started then this is github click continue and then and select the repository which one you wanted to have uh so maybe you can view github permissions git modally configure select the repository and here you're gonna do amplify full stack okay amplify full stack and click on save and if you go back to your console and here you should you should be able to see the amplify full stack now okay so select the amplify full stack and now the branch is main branch and now what we're gonna do is simply click on next all right so once you are here so um, whatever the default bind build settings are there just simply click next okay so leave it as is and now you're gonna do save and deploy like so so once you deploy a uh, full stack application which is in progress okay so it starts provisioning the resources for it it is and then it starts building it and then it, it deploys it okay so once it is ready we will open this URL where you can see the application which is running in our case okay so let's wait for this to complete and then let's um, see our deployed version of react.js app looks like the resources are now provisioned and now let's wait for the build you can click the build if you want and you can see cloning a repository and you can see all the logs here which are trying to uh, run this application okay uh, retrieved cache so let's wait for it I think looks like cloning is done uh, let's go back again let's wait for it for some time so it's compiled successfully and let's wait for it to finish the building okay there you go so now the application is uh, provisioned build and deployed okay so now click on it and go to the URL that I was just talking about just click on this URL and there you go this is our deployed version of react.js which is deployed onto the amplify environment okay um, so now how do we enable automatic uh, deployment okay 
so to automatically deploy the changes what we're going to do is we will make some changes to the code using the text editor and then push the changes to the main branch of your uh, app okay so what we're going to do is we will be simply open the code in a editor so there you go i have opened my application here um which is quite easy uh to maintain and uh, now that we have our um application ready so what we're going to do is we will simply uh, update our app.js here and then we will push uh, this code and see the updates whether our updates are being deployed into the aws stack or not so for example this is our application view so we're going to make some changes into our app and then we will um, see how that's going to pull through okay so now let's go to uh, app.js here uh, and i'm gonna push some changes over here so you can see this is all some changes that uh, i wanted to push and uh, open up my console add it here i'm gonna add the comment uh, which is update app click on commit sync changes let's push it okay so it looks like this is not working for me so what i will do is open up my uh, file again and i'm gonna push it okay so this pushing it from source tree works for me because i have configured my uh, environment a bit differently so i have pushed my code um, in your case you can use cli you can use um, a online editor like online editor something like this one or you may use source tree it's totally up to you github uh, using github is totally up to you it's just my preference um, and i need to set up something in my environment where i'm using a new mac i haven't i haven't done any setup yet so i'm gonna do it um so for now don't worry too much now our uh, now it is actually provisioning again so let's refresh the page and um, um the build is has started so once the build is done so we're going to see a new version of our app which is being deployed again by clicking this url okay so once it is ready we will click this url or maybe we'll simply go here and refresh the app so you can see some uh, different changes in that for example we have updated uh, heading to hello from v2 okay and we'll see the change click on the build running repository so it's going to take some time so i suggest um yeah Take a cup of coffee or tea just come back after that okay there you go um has finished building this app again so go back to this app and refresh the page and there you go so we can now see our update uh, we have deployed a new version of our app so as soon as you commit uh, so what happens is it takes it builds and deploys it again and to see a new version of our app okay so now that uh, we have set up everything so which is fine and what we're going to do is we will move to the next step which is initializing the local app okay um so in here what we're going to do is we will initialize our app with aws amplify cli locally and then we will configure it and then we will initialize our amplify app okay so how are we going to do it so go back to your terminal again and try to install am um, amplify cli which is npm install minus g that aws amplify slash cli okay so once you run this okay so it's because in case um i need to do something called sudo because i want to run it as a root So once I've entered password, so it started installing all the uh, required required uh, packages that are uh, needed for my AWS Amplify to run locally. So once it is done, so the next step will be we will be configuring our Amplify CLI. So um, we will see how it's going to work once this is finished. Okay, so now that we have installed our Amplify, so we, what we're going to do is simply Amplify configure. Okay. So basically, I do not need to do this because I've already done Amplify Configure in my local. But in your case, you will have to create a user. You will have to um, uh, create uh, something called um, access keys. As you know, um, so if you go to your account, you should be able to create a AWS um, access keys uh, for your application. So it will prompt for the AWS access keys and password. So once you enter, so you will be able to have access to your AWS configure. Okay, so in my case, I've already done it. So I'm not going to do Amplify configure again. All right, um, so clear this out. So once you have done it, um, what we will do is we are going to initialize our app using Amplify. Um, uh, so we will deploy a backend and initialize the backend environment locally. So um, in Amplify console, uh, if you go back to your 
console here and if you click on the backend environments and choose get started uh, from here and wait for the backend to be deployed for example let's click let's click on that so it's gonna um, create your backend for you so if you scroll down so it's gonna take some time to setting up the amplify studio right there so let's wait for it so there are some steps to be completed over here so it's initializing the backend environment for us so let's wait for a second so there you go it is it has now created the backend environments now you can see this is done once you see the staging here and once you see the launch studio you can click on the launch studio and it opens in a new window and we will um, try to run uh, try to add a backend service for our application okay so there you go it's now creating in progress and um, so what we will do now okay go back to your amplify full stack or maybe home here okay Ex uh, expand the local setup instructions here okay so how we're gonna add uh, local uh, backend services to our app so simply expand the local setup instructions and copy the command over here simply copy that and go back to your terminal and simply paste the command okay okay simply click on the allow and then it's gonna open up something like this are you sure you want to log in to amplify CLI yes successfully logged in to return to the amplify CLI to continue so if you come back here it's gonna ask all the questions that you um, want to do for example in my case I'm gonna use Visual Studio code this is my default application which I want to use so let's try that again because it looks like my command failed control a let me do it using sudo enter the password let's do the process again it's gonna open up in a new window enter so yes I want to connect it and now if you return back to this here and now it's going to ask questions okay so it is asking choose your default editor i'm going to choose visual studio in case if you're using intellij or xcode or android studio you can choose whatever the environment that you wanted to use so in my case i'm using javascript so i'm going to select javascript i'm going to use react because i'm using react source directory src is the default um, directory that i'm using for my react code distribution directory path i'm going to use build which is also fine you can see the default ones right so you can simply leave that and hit enter and then npm run script build so this is my build command that i would like to have and then i also start command so in my case start which is also fine and um let's wait for it do you also plan to modifying this backend yes i want to modify it yes and it's gonna create our backend environment for us and uh, it has pulled the backend environment staging from the cloud amplify pull to sync uh, future upstream changes okay so whatever the changes you make in amplify so you can simply use amplify pull to pull all the changes okay so there is no ap apps app sync api configured so basically what we have done now is we have added the graphql support a uh, graphql api support to our application remember we are building a full stack application with react and graphql and we will also implement some database okay so now that you have successfully configured the backend so i would suggest just clear your screen and what i will do now is is um, see how amplify project using a dashboard okay so we will see how to visit the dashboard the amplify dashboard by typing sudo in your case you do not type uh, sudo all the time because in my case I'm not admin so that's why I'm using sudo every time okay so in your case you can simply do amplify console but in my case I'm gonna add sudo in front just because I'm not an admin um, so once you add sudo I want to run this command as an admin user so enter it so you want to go to amplify studio or aws console so i want to go to amplify studio for now um so i think it has opened in a new window for me i think that's how it works and copy that url and open up and open that url here so it should be able to take you to the amplify studio 
and there you go so now this is my amplify full stack staging environment where you can see all the services which are up and running so there are a whole bunch of services you can see on the left where uh, we will see one by one how we can add those services into our react application okay so you can close this window you can also close this but it's fine um, go back to this is my safari it has opened in the safari i don't know why um, if i can go back to my console again so what we will do now is we will add the authentication um, using the amplifier okay so um, what we will accomplish here is we will install the amplify libraries we will create and deploy the authentication service and we will also configure our react application to include the authentication where the user should be able to log in and then he, uh, they will be able to see the content only if they log in all right so in in for now uh, our react application is visible this is the root application where we can see our react application but what i would like to do is add authentication to our application so how do you add authentication to um, our application so first of all let's add some packages dependencies to our application okay so anyone who is working on node react it will be easy for them to follow through but for python and rest of the things we will make uh, future videos where you will be able to understand how uh, things work okay for now just uh, stick with this and see how uh, it works now simply install npm install aws amplify and also add aws amplify slash ui hyphen react okay so these are the couple of dependencies that i would like to add to my application and hit enter so once it is installed we will create an authentication service all right okay there you go so it has added all the services that we want so you can simply see package dot um hang on and package.json where you can see the package.json and you can see we have added aws amplify we have added a ui react okay so let's clear this out so okay i'm gonna do so do amplify add auth so we are what we are doing here is we are simply adding the authentication service to our amplify uh, full stack application okay so we will see how that works and default configuration so default configuration is something that we would like to select select the default configuration uh, and then we want to use username and we want to use do you want to configure advanced settings nope so as you can see there's a warning you will not be able to edit these selections so make sure you select it correctly and then i'm going to choose uh for configure advanced settings i don't want to configure anything so no i'm done uh right there so we have successfully added uh, auth resource locally okay so we have successfully added our auth so now what we're going to do is we will simply push our application so authentication service has been configured locally but we need to deploy it by running a uh, command which is amplify push minus minus y okay so this will basically push um your service that you have created right so it's now uh, pushing your service um let's wait for a second uh, again a permission denied which is annoying for me and uh, i'm gonna add sudoof in front of it it's trying to fetch the updates from the backend environment from the cloud and there you go now it has created a amplify full stack um, create operation aws cloud so it is now deploying our um, auth service okay let's wait for it to finish so I think it is now creating a WS Cognito user pool, user pool client, I am roles, and all the required res resources are being now uh, created. Uh, you can see the status over here. Uh, let's wait for some time. Uh, so it's going to deploy our auth service. And then we will include all the AWS resources into our application. And then um, we will create the authentication flow in the app.js. So let's wait for it to complete. It's still running. And we can see the deployment state saved successfully and uh, there's no app sync api configured yet please add an api so we will be adding api shortly but now that it is completed the deployment um so what you're going to do i'm going to simply clear the screen and uh, how um so basically how to configure the react project with aw ampli amplify resources so basically the cli we have uh, created we will continue to update uh, the files required and uh, we will also use um uh, the resource templates that uh, Amplify created. So if you go back to your code, right? Um, if I go back to the uh, files, I can see the Amplify directory, and uh, we have added the backend services, which is auth. 
which is fine and uh, if I go back to a uh, file called AWS export so you can see AWS, it has configured everything that needed for this project and this is um, a config uh, so there's a warning here you should not edit this file this file is automatically generated and auto automatically maintained so you can see a whole bunch of information over here in this JSON file all right um, so everything is now set up so what we will do is we will simply go to our uh, index.js file so this is where our application has started so how do you include all the uh, amplify resources in your project so first we have to configure it right so how do you configure it um, is something like this so we have um, amplify.configure is uh, will start uh, configuring our application um, and uh, the config is coming from the AWS exports so these are our AWS exports and um, we are just importing that AWS exports uh, and we are passing it through the AWS Amplify configure. So what configure is doing is basically configuring your application to use the AWS Amplify resources. Okay, so once you have configured your resources, so what we will do is we will try to add the authentication flow to our application. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy some content and open up our app.js from here okay and simply remove the content here and paste it okay so I will link you to this uh, application where you should be able to see all the uh, functionality that I'm trying to add here um, so you can simply copy paste and use it uh, from my github account okay so I will share the link in the description box below so please do not forget to like or subscribe this video and um, all right so now that we have added uh, the code so what it is basically doing is we have added the with authenticator higher order component which is um, basically wrapping our app into the authenticator where uh, when you launch the root URL like this one so it will redirect you to the login page okay um, so that's the whole point of creating the uh, application right um, we want to add backend services uh, right so um, now how do you run this app locally so we will start this application locally by using our terminal or maybe you can also open it here you simply run npm start so let's start the application now again okay let's go to our safari and open up localhost 2000 okay first time uh, it's gonna take some time um, to load the application so let's wait for it so there you go um, so now it has loaded our application where you have a sign up form where you have create account so for first time user you can simply create your account so create an account let's save this um, so let me confirm my code which is sent to my email confirm all right so now that we have successfully logged into our app so you can see we have now logged in to our app okay and forget about the UI for now we will fix everything okay so click on the sign out button you can see the sign out button and now click on sign out which is going to take us to the root uh, application and now what we will do we'll simply use our credentials uh, and then click on sign in so there you go and you're now logged in and log out so we have successfully created authentication service using our AWS Amplify all right and uh, we have added the uh, service and now everything is working in local which is great and now what we're gonna do is open up uh, AWS console and uh, we will go to build settings and modify the backend section to use our amplify.yml file after making these uh, edits okay let's let's go to our console over here Amplify studio maybe this one and then uh, go to app settings and then let's go to the menu here and let's go to build settings okay and um, let's go ahead and edit this okay and we will be able to, we should be able to add our backend service remember we have added the backend service here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up uh, this code and add the backend service to my amplify.yml file so just copy paste this which is nothing but amplify push uh, simple um, this is my backend service okay so click on save 
so which will save uh, the content and uh, so basically what we have done is we have configured our amplify build process to add the backend service as well so we have built the process for front end but we do not have it for backend so that's the reason why we have entered our backend build uh, commands over here which is also um, we have we have simply added the build process okay uh, for our backend for the continuous deployment workflow okay um, now now that you have added for the backend so what we will do is uh, we will uh, scroll down a bit uh, in the build image settings click on edit okay and um, we will use add a package uh, let's go ahead and add package version override and then select amplify cli over here okay and then you should have uh, default uh, to the latest version okay and then um, simply click on save okay that's fantastic we have clicked on save and now what we're going to do is update our front end uh, branch to point to the back end environment uh, we have just created so under the branch name you should be able to create um, uh, click on edit and the backend environment yeah that's the thing we have missing we have been missing okay so you can see continuous deploys uh, setup you need to click on edit and uh, select the app that you wanted to uh, create and then the backend environment click staging over here and then we have uh, something like so once you click on staging backend environment changes will be applied on your next build okay and click on save okay and go ahead and okay so is there anything that i want to push uh, back in environment or maybe go back to the build step redeploy this version and let's see how this thing will work again okay so just refresh and the build started again um so let's wait for it for some more time okay it looks like build failed again and we will see why that is and if i scroll down to the backend service here you can see AWS session identifier build failed um, I think it's because uh, SSM parameters which is fine successfully cleaned up grid credentials which is also fine uh, it says AWS credentials cannot be found okay we will see how to configure we will see how to fix that okay in a moment um, so but the build is failed all right um, let's see how that's gonna work okay let's troubleshoot the build and go back to the console and type amplify in my case sudo amplify console like so and that's going to open up in a new tab i'm going to copy this url and open up in my firefox copy that url and go back to the firefox and open it so let's see what it says uh staging categories added authentication so it is trying to add something um creation okay now to continue working on the back end install the cli and make updates by running the command um, into a project folder okay let's see what it does copy that command and paste it here permission denied for me again okay let's um, cancel this out try to run this and add sudo in front what it's trying to do is fetching the updates to the backend environment changing from the cloud and oh, i should do it regularly let's see no apps in gpa configured these are an API yeah that's totally fine I think I don't need to do anything but for some reason the build is failing go to the console one more time and see go back to the main branch and click on edit set up a service role so amplify can deploy updates to your backend so that may be the reason why our authentication keep failing so what we will do is so how do you set up a service role so you can click on this link over here okay so basically we do not we haven't created the service role so that uh, our backend uh, service is not able to create um, um, the backend environment for us uh, so basically we need a service role for us to work on this okay so what we're gonna do they um, they have provided a link which is here and I've clicked on it and you can see how do we add a service role so basically open up the IAM console create a role create amplify role um, and then uh, choose amplify backend deployment role and we have a whole bunch of um, instructions over here and then we will we should be able to um, do that okay 
So let me open a YM console and go to IAM. So let's go ahead and create a role over here. Click on roles, create role. And then what we're going to do is in this role section screen, find amplify and choose amplify backend deployment role. Okay. Uh, okay. That's fine. Go back to that. Uh, amplify. Okay. Select the amplify and select the amplify backend deployment and click on next. And you are having administrator access amplify. All right. Um, and accept all the defaults and change choose the name of your role such as amplify console service amplify role simply copy that role name which will be pretty easy for you to recognize uh, and just simply copy paste that and click on on create role all right i already exist so in my case the role is already existing okay that's totally fine so maybe for you you'll have to create that role all right and then go to the amplify console and open up amplify console if you're if you are in the process of deploying a new app choose refresh uh, and then choose um the role so where do we refresh that App settings general choose edit. App settings go to amplify. Leave the page. Go to amplify. App settings general. And there you go. You see the air service role is empty. So you'll have to click on edit and uh, select the amplify role, amplify console, service role, amplify role. This is the role that they're talking about. And select the role and click on save all right okay that's totally fine now go back to your amplify full stack and then click on the build redeploy this version initialized provider successfully let's wait for it. it looks like it is building this time I think the service role has fixed uh, the issue that we were talking about and uh, so once uh, the build is done successfully okay and then once it is deployed so you should be able to see our app which is having the authentication service added uh, to our amplify app okay so let's wait for it I think the backend is done so we do not have any issues complete phase build and then front end um, which is building successfully from from the initial commit so they should not have any trouble building the front-end service okay so let's wait for it let's for it. let's wait for the whole build to complete and then let's get back to the uh, deployment okay so build is still taking place creating an optimized build so compiled successfully if I scroll back up it's still building just refresh the page and let's see if the build is done or not okay the build is still running which is totally fine okay let it finish uploading the cache i think it is done okay i think it's uh done the build is done now the deployment is going on so the deployment is also complete so go back to our amplify full stack app and click on this link where you should be uh, able to you know log in so there you go so now it is asking for you uh, to log in to view the content okay so simply enter uh, my username and my password Click on sign in. Maybe my password is wrong. Delete the password. Sign in. Ah, there you go. You have successfully now deployed your application, including the backend service, authentication service, into your Amplify app. And now that it is working fine, just as your local, which is great. Now you simply sign out and refresh the page. Um, okay sure it is it is taking you to the login page which is amazing okay so now we have successfully created our authentication service and attached to it so what is our next step so next what we're going to do is we will create a create and deploy a graphql api okay and we will write some front end code to interact with the api as well so for that what i'm going to do as a first step is i'm going to add a api into using the amplify so do amplify add api 
All right, so once we add it, okay, let me type my password. Let's see, we're gonna add a GraphQL service now, okay? So you can also do REST, but in my case, I'm, I'm gonna use GraphQL. So click on that, and now we are going to uh, select one of the below method. So here is the GraphQL API that will create, select a setting to edit or continue. Okay, so name amplify full stack, which is totally fine. And then I'm gonna simply select the continue here, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose a schema so you can see we need to choose a schema and uh, what we will do is we're gonna use example to do which is totally fine and then we will use and we want to edit the schema right now we want to edit the schema right now yes try opening a system default editor okay all right so if I go back to my console here Let's see, let's expand the backend and you can see API when we've added uh, the GraphQL schema and everything. So now our Amplify app has all the backend services which is, includes API authentication. Uh, it also added the TypeScript information over here, which is amazing. Um, okay, so what we will do now is API Amplify stack. We will open up our schema.graphql file over here. Okay, and um, simply remove the whole thing here and just paste it okay so I have this uh, model which is having ID uh, name and description which is basically a very simple application which takes ID name and description which will ID is auto generated one but name and description we will be adding it to the service okay uh, we will be adding it using the uh, graphical so simply save this um, schema we try a sudo so that should save the file all right, um, now what we're gonna do is we will simply use, you remember we have used amplify push minus minus y, which will push uh, to the backend and let's go to terminal and simply do amplify, let's do sudo amplify minus minus y. Okay, so it's gonna push my API and uh, this will do basic, this will basically do three things. It will create a AWS app sync API, okay? and it will create a DynamoDB table, okay? And then it will also create a local GraphQL operations in the folder um, located in the SRC slash GraphQL. So what we're gonna do is Amplify console. So let's go to our Amplify console API, which is running here, okay? And then open up your studio, launch your studio, and if I go to where is the API GraphQL API so to amplify add API let's add it again let's see what it does and select GraphQL already AppSync API in your project use amplify update API command to update your existing AppSync API okay so let's try that amplify so you can see these nice warnings and commands right so which is helping you a lot uh, working with uh, amplify which is quite straightforward authentication modes enable conflict detection on the API key I don't think you need to do this uh, let's go back to my console and expand my source backend source actually find public amplify backend amplify stack I think it should be fine just simply cancel this process okay so um you already have added the app sync okay um so we will simply do amplify we'll let's go to amplify console amplify console api this time that opens up a api window graphql okay let me copy that url because i've already logged into my firefox i don't know why it is opening up in safari Let's open up here. I think it should be take it should be taking you to the GraphQL API. So this is where I was talking about. So this is our GraphQL setup where um, you can see the data modeling can happen here. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is we will simply update uh, source API, which is our um, AppJS. Okay. So let's go to AppJS and um, AppJS source. AppJS right here just close this out and remove everything from here and paste it so this is basically what we are trying to do here is we are trying to add the GraphQL mutations uh, we have we are trying to call API's fetch nodes 
so you can see we are calling the graphql api uh, and then we are trying to display um, the notes taking app and we have wrapped it inside the authenticator okay so once you have this code what we are going to do is um, basically we are fetching our notes and we are creating a note here and we are deleting a note this is a very basic functionality where you can create update delete uh, your notes okay so basically we are trying to do a notes app so how do you run your app in locally and uh, so you gonna simply do npm start okay like we did earlier so simply do npm start that should take you to your uh, application locally and then once it is done we will try and open up in the we'll try and deploy this change into our ampli amplify uh, deployment okay uh, so just refresh this page uh, graphical queries there's no graphical queries there is no so it looks like there is some uh, errors I think it's because we haven't conf uh, we haven't configured our graphical API properly that may be the reason why you are seeing this error so all right okay let's simply cancel this I think we have conf configured the graphical locally already so simply do amplify push I doubt if this is being pushed or not so I'm just doing sudo amplify push once minus y so let's wait for the push and then let's try and um, uh, do this again I think there was a problem with the amplify push so that's why I had to do again so let's create the amplify uh, API and go back to your code and you should be able to see the GraphQL somewhere in the backend API. I think that's fine, but let's wait for that to build. Okay. We're still creating, the creation is in progress. So you can see the generated GraphQL operation successfully and uh, saved at src slash graphql so this is where we had the error previously um, but now it looks like it has already generated so if you expand source you can see the graphql mutations query schema and everything so now it is correct and what we will do now is once it is done um, you can simply do npm start again so that we will open up our application and uh, we'll see how the app is going to look like okay So go back to here and refresh the page. Oh, there you go. So there's the error is gone now. Okay, so let me log in with my credentials again and sign in. And we should see some UI. So okay, there is this is my notes taking app, where this is my note app name description current notes. Okay, so what we're gonna do is notes um, AWS cloud demos. Hello, subscribers and create a note there you go you can now see um, that our notes has been saved and you can create as many uh, notes as you want create a note and is now created okay so now if you log out um, so you should not be able to log in back again all right which is also working fine and log back in click sign in and there you go so now it is pulling our notes and we have successfully configured our graphql api and we can get the uh we can we are using the queries to get the um notes okay so which is amazing so we have created a complete full stack um we have created a back-end service we have created a front-end service we should uh, we should we will be focusing on database next and we will also create a storage uh, solution for this okay so and um if we go back to my console or maybe go to the DynamoDB so it has also also created the DynamoDB table um, go to tables see this is my note taking app and if I scroll down a bit and explore table items and you can see my notes are being saved into my DynamoDB table so we have created our front end we have created our back end authentication we have created our graphql api and we have also created our database with dynamodb okay um so wonderful and now what we're going to do is we will also support image upload functionality we will create a storage service
to our application we will upload the images as well okay so how you add us uh, how you add application uh, so it's pretty simple so just cancel this out uh, so using AWS amplify is pretty simple all that you need to do is to do amplify add storage all right so it should now be able to add a storage service which is nothing but our s3 so what we're going to do we're going to use our storage service for images audio video etc select that and then we will be using a provider friendly name for your resource okay let's see what is the name that we want to create um i'm gonna say image storage hit enter and we're gonna give a bucket name and you can enter that we should who should have the access auth users and guest users i think it should be better if you select auth users only and then we will also select create update um so use space to select i'm selecting create update read delete okay i should be able to create update my images read and delete as well so select all the options hit enter do you want to add a lambda trigger on s3 bucket nope simply select no and that's going to create my uh, storage service okay so we will also then update our uh, graphql schema in order to support the images um, okay so let me copy the code and go back to my application and go to schema graphql and paste it okay so this is my note um, let me retry again so i have saved my new schema which is also supporting the image okay so once the image is added what you're going to do we will be deploying our application uh, to aws amplify so that it will be um storage service uh, will has been configured uh, locally and we will update the graphql schema and uh, we have updated the graphql schema and we can now deploy the updates by running amplify so in my case i'm going to add sudo amplify push minus minus y so that's going to push a storage service like we have done previously we have pushed our auth api we have pushed our graphql schema now we are pushing the image storage okay so the schema has compiled successfully which is fine so this will take a few minutes so it is configuring the s3 bucket you can see so it has generated the graphql operations successfully inside src slash graphql and graph this is our graphql endpoint where you can try this is a graphql api key and i think we have created our s3 bucket and policies and everything is added okay so now let me go back to my code editor where you can see i want to update my functionality something like in my app.js okay um so what i'm going to do is copy a few imports that i want to do i want to use it in my application which will uh, i think we have already have api I think I can remove that and amplify UI react so these are all the components I think you can simply copy those components and put it right here because we already are having the import simply remove the button we have flex we have heading we have image you can remove text text field view and with authenticator you can remove all of that okay and also remove the ui react from here okay and api amplify okay all right so this looks correct and now what we'll be doing is we will be updating our fetch node command uh, fetch node function where we will also be getting images from our s3 storage as you can see here we are retrieving the images from um, s3 storage and this is our image over here we will use in a moment and we are going to update our create node function which is here and we will also include image in that as you can see we are sending the image name um, to our graphql api and then we will also update our backend our delete node something like this so this is our delete node and um, if you scroll down a bit um, this is our view this is our form okay where we have a text field we have a text field you remember this is the note name this is a note description 
and create note button and we have our we are displaying our notes right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add another input okay so this input is basically taking the um, file okay this is an input uh, so basically it takes an image uh, to upload update our logic here which is notes app This is our logic where we are trying to uh, iterate through our nodes. We have node, node ID, node name. We have a node description, uh, node dot image, and this will be node dot name. And yeah, this looks good. Okay, so now that you have created your code, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the app locally and see if everything is working correct correctly. Okay, so npm start. Oops npm start okay let's make sure everything is working locally and then we will be able to use it um, and then we will push all our changes to the uh, deployed application okay so go back to the Firefox reload the page okay uh, there you go so now we have added the browse here and these nodes doesn't have any image so what we're gonna do is browse um and simply i have a image so i have some png image i'm gonna create node i'm gonna not liked it blah 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 create node yes there you go now this is my image and this is my note and you can see my image is also updated my this is my image which i have selected and uh, also you can create a bunch of notes over here um, click on browse and then open and let's create a note all right so there you go we have now created our application which is having notes which we have added storage solution we have added uh, authentication and we have added a whole bunch of functionality to it and this is our full stack application um, using the AWS amplifier okay um, if you like it please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos and subscribe to my channel please also uh, comment and uh, please don't forget to share and um, let's now uh, don't forget to delete all the resources because um, we don't want to end up uh, you know having a big bill so what we're going to do is we will simply delete it how you will be de deleting it first we have to remove the services that we have added for example auth service push service uh, auth service and then um, um, uh, back end storage everything right so what we're going to do is simply cancel this out and do amplify remove um, so we have we haven't pushed it yet and i don't want to push it now because we have seen it is working uh, if it is working locally then it should also deploy that all that you have to do is git status and git add okay git status um simply do git commit minus m um add storage service and simply do git push i'm gonna push it from my source tree just push it and click ok all right so once it is done um if i go back to my amplify console like here click on aws amplify click on that and now the services is being provisioned and once it's built and deploy if you go ahead and refresh this page you should be able to see your application uh, which is also supporting the um, storage service database service uh, graphql schema authentication and everything okay please don't forget to like this video please 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 like it and uh, subscribe it um, and now let's see how we're gonna remove it uh, remove the services that we have added because I think everything is working we just want to remove all the services that we have just created now amplify remove auth so this will simply remove the um, uh, authentication service we have added for our application all right maybe simply in my case i'm going to try amplify so do amplify remove auth are you sure you want to delete the resource the act this action deletes all the files related to the resource yes i want to delete everything um to successfully remove the resource and then we will do sudo so amplify push 
all right so now it is trying to um, delete all the resources not all the resources I believe it's just the uh, API uh, auth API that we want to create we want to delete and now you can see the category are you sure you want to continue so it is trying to delete um, auth service as you can see operation delete and then um, you can do the uh, you can do this uh, for all the services that you want and uh, this is for delete operation of auth service and you want to say yes and there is no change to api and storage as you can see because we are only deleting the auth service okay you can do for the rest of the things but i would like to show you one more thing which is deleting the entire project um it's going to take a few more minutes okay there you go it is now saving the deployment state and done so we have now deleted the auth service so just clear this out and simply run sudo amplify delete this will delete the entire project are you sure you want to continue this in, this will delete all the environments of the project from the cloud and wipe out all the local files created by the amplify cli okay this will also create this will also wipe out all the amplify uh, files that are uh, created locally okay and do this only if you are if you are sure about it deleting all the resources now from the cloud and we will see everything will be gone by the time this command is fully ran um, there you go the project is now deleted locally and if I go back to my code you can see um, there's no amplify folder over here it, it has deleted everything and you can go ahead and delete this schema if you want uh, because uh, it's no longer needed because I've deleted everything all right um, so and if I go back to home over here or maybe in my amplify console just refresh the page everything is now gone okay so your app is not found and everything is deleted i hope you like this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please uh, don't for please don't forget to follow me on github and linkedin and thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next video